Hey guys, remember, this video is going to be about this little lip gloss that I had made. And I just want to show you before it um, comes out. This is how it looks, and this is how it's going to look on the lips. Just gives it a nice purple tint. And it's extremely glossy because... It's Vaseline. So pretty much this is what it looks like and that's what you'll be making. Bye. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a really quick and simple lip gloss. Pretty much you're going to need a little container. And I got this container at Big Lots in a really big bag of full of small containers like this one. About three of these and a bunch for traveling. Also... This is a great way to use any eyeshadows that have been cracked or they're really loose and everything. So I really like this purple one that I bought the other day. But I'm going to use a little bit of it since it's cracked and everything and it's like fraying. And I'll be using that one. And I think it's going to come out as a really nice purple shade. And I'm going to use petroleum jelly. And I'm using the baby fresh scent because I really love how it smells and a mixing stick I've already been doing this experiment so um, that's, what we, that's what you're going to need okay so let's start I already have a jelly I already have a jar containing the jelly and pretty much you want to scoop some up and then pour some in the middle and leave a little gap in the center I don't know you, if you could tell because it's white and clear but you want to make sure you get it all in the corners, okay? And start by, with the tip of your little stick, which mine is a um, painting brush, grab some of the color and start by pouring it in carefully. Well, this one's really cracked. See how it all just fell? And now, look at my eyeshadow. It's really um, start by mixing it, cracking it first. That's why it's best to leave a little gap in the center and just mix it. Also, another really great idea is to actually put in a little palette. You could actually use the lid on this and pour it in there. Pour it all in there. Mix little by little in the jar. Grab some more. I'm actually going to mix the rest in the lid. And just pour it back into your jar. And now, there you have your little jar, and we're going to set this in the fridge for about one hour. There you have it. Now, I'll be showing you how it looks at the end, but pretty much if you open it up, looks like that. Nice little jar. You could just close it up. And there you have it.